A response along with fair, but there were also a lot of negative remarks, as you can see, pointless, stupid and racist amongst them. Well, joining me now is Ewan Herbert Small. He's an illegal immigrant who's been in the UK for a decade now. And uh, Ewan Herbert Small, when you came here, what were you hoping for? Well, Sarah, I was born a British citizen, as you know, in a British colony. And you were born in St Kitts? I was born in St Kitts, a British colony at the time. So I was born with the same status as the Prime Minister, as the... Uh, Theresa May and um, even when I was born um, I required permission to come to the United Kingdom which you know I thought was a draconic measure and uh, I came here anyway and I've been living here for the past 10 years um, just hoping to make a better life for myself in this country a country that I've always identified myself with as being British um, I have two children who were born here in London who are also considered stateless by the Secretary of State. Um, they're denied passport facilities and they're, I've been threatened that they can be removed from the country at any time. So, so just to clarify, you were originally classed as a British citizen of the UK and colonies, but the rules changed in 1983 and that meant that you no longer had the right to abode here in the United Kingdom. Even before the 1983 change, the 1971 Act changed a 700-year-old right of having the right of abode in this country. And your grandfather had come over here, he yes. had settled here. He'd settled here in the 50s. And according to a Freedom of Inf Information request from the Home Office, um, he was not required to register or naturalize because he was already a citizen of the UK and colonies. However, if he were, say, an American or a German citizen and he had registered in the UK, then I would be able to benefit which doesn't make much sense. So, so what's happened to you? You came here, but you are classed as an illegal immigrant. What, what's happened to you since? Well, I've been arrested and detained up to three times. Um, uh, and what were conditions like when you were arrested and detained? I spent three months, three and a half months in Harmonsworth, and most of the time there I was um, in solitary confinement simply because I was denied my ethnic and cultural food under section 13 of the rules, I'm allowed ethnic and cultural food, which is West Indian food, and I was denied that. And because I protested and I threw a tantrum, I was admitted in uh, solitary under section 40 of the rules. So, you know, I had a battle with the governor of the detention center about the rules, and you, you can't just decide which sections of the rules you're going to follow and which ones you're going to deny me. So you've been arrested and detained three times. You, you, you've said that you were kept in solitary confinement, that conditions weren't at all pleasant. No. Um, you have appealed against deportation successfully. So what does that now mean for you? You can't be deported, but you're not meant to be here. Well, I've not had a successful appeal. I'm still in limbo at the right. moment. And so you're statusless, effectively? Still, yes. And, and what does that mean for work? I'm How not do you allowed to work. I'm not allowed to work. I'm not allowed to claim any benefits. And you know, I have tried to work in the past, and it's it's very difficult getting employed without papers. You know, um, no employer wants to accept liability of ten thousand pound fine. No matter how good you are, I work in IT, and it's just difficult to find work so, without so papers. So, what is the answer for you? Well, I I would appeal to the immigration minister and the secretary of state to review the, the rules, the, the laws that have um, discriminated against um, British colonies, um, namely those in the Caribbean. Um, for instance, when I was born, um, when I was young, uh, the Falkland Islanders had a right of abode in this country. They're also a colony, a predominantly white colony, and my colony didn't have those rights. Also, when Montserrat um, sustained a volcano in 95 and their refugees were fleeing, um, the British government didn't admit them into the United Kingdom until two years later when the Americans were admitting them and it caused an embarrassment for the British government. So I think that the British government needs to right these wrongs. Okay, you and Herbert Small, that's all we've got time for. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us. So I'm breaking news now of a security alert in America. A terminal at Miami